One got knocked down, he won't get up again The other went knocked him down One got knocked down, and now he's fucking dead The other went knocked him out Combo Breaker! There's something absolutely terrifying about giant ultimate beings of power that want nothing to do but kill all life on Earth. And today's warriors embody this perfectly. Cthulhu, the Elder God, and Galactus, Devourer of Worlds. Ah, Cthulhu. He's an Elder God, and he'll bring insanity to the planet when he rises. But enough about his story, because it's really confusing, let's just move into his powers. Cthulhu is unable to die by aging in most uh, traditional means. He actually has godlike regeneration. It's pretty much unkillable unless you erase him from god dang existence. He can also fly, use telepathy, manipulate dreams, use magic, and even warp reality. He can also warp dimensions and shapeshift. He can manipulate plasma, control minds, and even travel between dimensions. Cthulhu can make these. He can make mortals go insane just by you know existing. And he can create star spawns, which look like tiny Cthulhu's, but are not, they're not as strong as him, but they're still pretty damn strong. Cthulhu himself is strong enough to destroy large stars in a single strike and fight other Elder Gods. Cthulhu is also able to fly from Earth to, uh, fly to the Earth from Zok in a few seconds, and he's never been hurt. As a matter of fact, due to his immortality and living on other planes and regeneration, he's next to impossible to be killed, because all damage to his physical body is superficial. The only way to really put him down is to erase him from existence. Cthulhu is also ridiculously smart, as he can communicate with any living thing and possess, and possess their mind, and knows pretty much everything there is to know about the, his universe, and even a few others, actually. Alright, just strap in for a moment, because this is going to get ridiculous. Ah, Galactus, the biggest Marvel threat, except for maybe Thanos, but he's a fighter for another battle. So what does Galactus bring to the table? He has, well, Galactus has a physical form, but it's disposable, and he'll regenerate from, from it as long as the idea of Galactus still exists, because he's a force of nature. Galactus is actually a, has a type of immortality I need to mention. He actually cannot die by aging, and just by existing, he warps reality around him. He can also manipulate energy and matter, as shown by the fact that he can turn people into bugs. Oh, and this one time, you know, he just alters the laws of physics by existing. He can also erase the... The emotions of others, basically making them to be his servants, and he can wipe out memories and even devour planets and souls and gain energy from them. He can also teleport, use telepathy and telekinesis. He can manipulate his size and shape. He can also uh, create force fields, and he can strip people of their powers, and he can even attack enemies on multiple planes of existence. He can also erase beings from existence, as uh, and he's also able to resist mind and soul manipulation. Even while starving, Galactus could destroy solar systems in one attack, and he could fight for Celestials at his best. Not to mention, since he's an abstract being, he basically exists beyond time and space, and thus is omnipresent present, and has infinite speed. Galactus has also survived beatings from Thanos, Zeus, and the Big Bang Bomb, and he's a mega genius, the ultimate unstoppable warrior. And for the most part, he does he can go like months without food. It, I'm, you know, for the most part, he's pretty smart, but he does have his flaws. If he goes for over a month without food, he'll starve to death. But then again, I don't think a fight's gonna last more than a month. Alright, which immortal planet-destroying god will come out on top? Galactus hears about an elder god rising on Earth from Silver Surfer. He quickly teleports to Earth and sees Cthulhu rising from the water as humans start jumping off of buildings and screaming. Galactus shrinks down and lands on the planet and, start and stares at Cthulhu. Cthulhu flies over and lands in front of Galactus, who backhands Cthulhu. Cthulhu then grabs Galactus by his head with his tentacles and throws him into a skyscraper that collapses on him. Galactus stands back up and fires a large blue energy blast through Cthulhu's chest. Cthulhu falls to his knees as Galactus starts to laugh, but Cthulhu stands back up and runs over with his wounds now, uh, now healed. He then takes, uh, and then Galactus grabs Cthulhu by the head, smashes him into the ground, and repeatedly stomps on his head. Cthulhu tries to get uh, uh, to possess Galactus, but he keeps stomping on Cthulhu because it's unable to possess him. Cthulhu then stands back up and punches Galactus. Galactus then grabs Cthulhu's wings, headbutts him, and tears off his wings in the process. Cthulhu goes to bite Galactus, but Galactus grabs Cthulhu by the head and it then has Cthulhu explode, leaving nothing but a glowing blue ball of light. Galactus then claps his hands on the ball of light and erases it from existence. Our winner is Galactus, and this match was incredibly close because both were... Both fighters were, like, immortal in multiple different ways. Cthulhu doesn't, uh, but Cthulhu doesn't have the powers or abilities to actually wipe out Galactus for good. But Galactus does have multiple ways to finish off Cthulhu and put him down. 
Uh, in fact, he can actually hit Gal Cthulhu since he can attack on any dimension or plane. He can erase Cthulhu from existence, which is his one weakness, or remove all his powers altogether and then physically beat him to death. Whereas Cthulhu doesn't have the means to put Galactus down for good. I mean, I guess he could physically beat him to death, but eventually he's just going to come back because the idea of Galactus would still be present somewhere in the universe due to Galactus' force of nature thing. So our winner is Galactus. Cthulhu just couldn't stand a chance. Next time on Combo Breaker. Nui Harame vs. Deadpool. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and put in the comments what you think of the next match, who you think will win, why, anything you got. I'd love to see what you guys put.